Assalamu alaikum dear students hope you are well by the grace of almighty Allah welcome to NIEBS home school this is Fatima Sabbin Shikha assistant teacher of national ideal English version school morning chip today I am going to take ICT class for the students of class 6 on the topic of chapter 5 lesson 1 2 3 reading I am repeating today our topic is chapter 5 lesson 1 2 3 reading students this is our eighth lecture and seventh homework i'm repeating this is our eighth lecture and seventh homework students for today's class take your ict book we'll discuss about this chapter lesson one two three so let's begin chapter five name introducing internet after reading this chapter we'll be able to learn describe internet describe website visit websites using a browser describe search engine find out information searching internet by using a search engine students now we'll discuss about lesson one name internet in this book, we have mentioned several times that the entire world is going through a change caused by information and communication technology. And we are observing these changes which are happening in front of our eyes. Internet is the most important among the factors for which the revelation of ICT is happening. So, you have to know about the internet. All of you will have to use internet at some point. Let us know now imagine some incidents to understand this clearly. Okay, we'll learn about incident one. One day while Rahat was coming back from school, it began to rain cats and dogs. Students, do you know the meaning of cats and dogs? Yes, cats and dogs is a phrase and idioms. It means continuous. So, continuously raining. When Wahat was coming back from school, it began to rain continuously. Wahat was very happy. Is there any country where rain is so beautiful like Bangladesh? Rahat thought he likes getting wet in the rain. So he returned home getting wet. After a while, he remembered that he had come home with the school bag. This bag must have got wet. Yes, as he went in the rain, his bag must be wet. He found that it was really so. His mother rebuffed him of it and kept the books under the fan to dry. Rebuff means his mother called him. But the mathematics book was completely damaged. Rahat became so sad that he could not but cry. His mother said, it's okay, don't worry. After downloading your mathematics book from NCTV's website, www.nctv.government.bd I'll get it printed and bind it for you. Here you can see the book. Okay, you will get a new book. His mother really did that. Within one hour, Rahat got a new book. So, from this incident, we can learn that we can easily download books from internet or using internet. Incident 2. Two friends need to go to a place for an important business. But the problem is that none of them went to the place before. They even don't know where there is a way to go there. As they were thinking about it, they remembered that they could find the map of that place on internet. Within a short period, they found the ends and out of the place. They found out that they could go there by the road next to a mercy land. 
next day they waste their students not only downloading book from internet we can find the path if we, you want to go anywhere and if the place is unknown to you you can use the internet and can get the map and can easily reach in that place now we'll learn about incident three a wounded freedom fighter along with his two daughters was returning home by train a foreigner was sitting in front of him while traveling they began to talk from the conversation the foreigner came to know about the liberation war of bangladesh he said i'm interested to know the history of your liberation war is there any book on this the freedom fighter replied of course there is an internet link here please try it you'll find everything the foreigner sat with the laptop and logged on to the link within a minute he could read the golden history of the liberation war of bangladesh so from incident three we come to know that by using internet we can learn any history of any country now incident four in the school's annual cultural program Milly wants to dance on the song Ami Takdum Takdum Bajai Bangladesh Tol. This is a Bangla song and Milly wants to dance on this song. But the problem is that she does not have any cassette or CD of this song. She was very sad and about to give up her hopes. Then her teacher Roshan Ara said to her, Milly, don't worry, I will search in the net for the song and download the mp3 copy of it. Accordingly, Roshan Ara downloaded the song and in the prize giving ceremony, Milly danced on the song that impressed everyone present there. Students, I hope you all know that we can easily download songs from internet and I think you are using internet you listen songs various kinds of songs from internet so it's known to you now incident 5 those who have written this book for the students of class 6 suddenly noticed that the name of the supercomputer has already been mentioned in this book but there is no picture of a supercomputer there will children get interested in reading this book without attractive pictures writers of this book did not worry about the picture because they knew that they could find some pictures in the large encyclopedia named wikipedia they actually got it you have already seen it so you have learned about encyclopedia that means wikipedia and there you can see so many pictures of any topic we can cite thousands of incidents like this are very easily but is there any need for this yeah you must have already understood that internet is a place where you find any type of information of the world you must be surprised to think that who has collected so much information in a particular place how he has he done this how can anybody of the world use this information the answer is very simple internet was not invented with a single computer of a person internet is the network of millions of computers of the world i'm repeating the sentence internet is the network of millions of computers of the world those who are connected with the internet can communicate with millions of computers if they wish they can also download the information from any computer can you imagine how big the information storehouse will be even if there is only a few information in the millions of computers okay students now we'll discuss about lesson two and three 
internet connection and playing with network. In the previous chapter, we have learned about the various functions of internet. So, in chapter 4, we have learned about the various functions of internet. We have learned about keyboard, mouse, word processor. I hope you can remember. You must be very interested to know how to how it works. We have already mentioned before that internet is the worldwide computer's network. So, what is internet? Internet is the worldwide computer's network. We need to discuss what we mean by network. Suppose there are many computers in your school's computer lab and all computers are connected with a machine called switch. Then one computer will be able to communicate with another. And we will say that your school has a computer network. Students, look at this. Here we find some computers think that it's their computer lab and in your lab there are five computers and it's connected with switch of your school and this is called router and this is the computers of another school which is switched with the another neighboring school and also connected with the router so look two networks connected with one another to set up a networks network okay now come to page number 68 suppose there is another school beside your school they became surprised to see your computer network then they also requested their teachers to have a computer network their teachers also set up a computer network by using a lot of computers now the students of that school too can connect one computer with another computer within the network so it's very easy process few days later you may notice that you can communicate with the computers of your school network but you cannot communicate with the computers of the school beside yours sometimes you would like to do so if you want to do this you will need to connect your school's computer network with the other school's computer network for connecting the two networks the device which is used is called a router i'm repeating for connecting the two networks the device which is used is called a router it has been drawn in the above picture how your school's computer network can be connected with your nearest school's computer network so here we are talking about this circle with router switch and other computers and with neighboring school's computer we can connect our computers now if you connect your school network with your nearest school network with your local college network your medical college network then it will be a network's network it is the mystery of internet invention the world internet ori originated from interconnected network i'm repeating the word internet originated from interconnected network inter from the first word interconnected and net from the second word network together make the word internet so i'm repeating the line it's very important for answering your mcq inter from the first word interconnected and net from the second word network together make the word internet there are only four computers in the first internet in 1969 so when internet was first invented it was the year 1969 and there were only four computers now the, there are billions of computers so it starts with four computer and now there are millions of computers for playing this game one will be voucher some will be switches and the rest of the class will be computers number will be given to each computer names of the switches will be red blue green etc you can play like this look here one group and other side another group and if you think that it's router and you can give red switch or blue switch 
to make your game interesting. Some computers along with the weight switch will make the web network. Similarly, some computers along with the blue switch will make the blue network and the green network will be made by the green switch. One switch will not communicate with the other switches directly. If it is needed, it will be done through a browser. Computers now start communication with another computer. Write the name of the computer on a paper with which you would like to communicate. For example, green 13 or red 7. You can write like this. Send the paper to your network switch. If the switch sees that the paper is for a computer within the network, it will be sent immediately. If the switch sees that the paper is for another network, it will send it to the router. The router will send that paper to the appropriate network switch. Then the switch will send it to the specific computer. Find out how quickly you can communicate from one computer to another. Students, now it's time for your homework. Your homework will be 5 MCQ. Do 5 MCQ from chapter 5, lesson 1, 2, and 3. I'm repeating, your homework will be 5 MCQ. And don't forget to write the lecture number and homework number with the submission date. Our lecture number is 8 and homework number is 7. And the submission date will be the date of Sunday because on every Sunday you have to submit your SW copies. Students, do your homework in your SW copy. Guardians or anyone else can submit your copies on every Sunday and can collect your previous copies on next Sunday. You need to be serious because you will get your CD, diary and SPA marks on the basis of the submission of your SW copies. That's all for today. Hope you have understood today's topic. Keep practicing at home and abide by your parents. Stay well and see you again. Till then, Allah Hafiz. Assalamu alaikum.